What's going on everyone? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new 2021 Keystone Avalanche model 390 DS. Two bedroom, two full baths. Some would even say it could possibly be a three bedroom just depending on how you look at it. I'll let you guys decide on that. Before we get too far along though, I'd like to say thank you to all the new subscribers. And if you're new here to the page, click the subscribe button down below. It definitely does help me out. So let's get started. So brand new unit by Avalanche, the Maldu 390DS. Bunkhouse, two bedroom, two full baths. Could possibly even double down as a three bedroom, just depending on how you look at it. Sleeping room, according to the manufacturer, for eight to 10 individuals, but the way that loft bed looks back there, I think you can get everybody underneath the sun in here. 18 cubic foot full electric fridge. There is a built-in 1000 watt inverter, so that all this will in fact run while going down the road. Quite nice. I call this an under over. Don't know if that's the correct terminology, but that's exactly what I'm gonna call it today. Freezer on the bottom, fridge up top. Quite nice to have. Things better than the one I've got in my own house. 60-40 split on the actual stainless steel fridge, uh, sink there. Drop in, you know, with the high-rise faucet with a sprayer. And I even like how they've added the little covers there. You know, those can be, and some people say you can use the back of them for a cutting board, but I don't know if I'd do it. Legless table, you know, solid wood cabinet doors, oak drawers throughout, but you know, for individuals like me who are tall, that is quite nice to have. You don't have to worry about hitting your leg. And you even have the added bonus of extra storage underneath. And that is a pull-out lever here, so you can have just a little bit of extra table space as well. Thomas Paine collection on the furniture. These are manual recline, heated and massaged with a 12-volt charging port here. Six foot ten on all the two, the two slides here in the main living room. I'm not gonna say all. So just the two here in the living room. So with the slides being that much taller, you're definitely gonna get a lot bigger windows. And I definitely like how they've added the little vases here to keep that sunlight from coming around when you got those shades down. So that is quite nice. 80% tint, safety glass on all the windows. You can in fact order this unit with double pane windows, upgrading it to you know, just a little bit more. And I also like to point out the different color they've done on the island there, just giving it a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit better decor. Stainless steel appliances throughout, 21 inch, three eye burner, Furion. I like how they got the little grate up on the top, that's quite nice. And just a quick shot of your oven there. They're going ahead too and add a matching drawer on the bottle so you can in fact add, you know, pots and pans down here in the bottom. And for individuals like me who don't like to trash it, hang it out in the open. Nice place to store that. Loads and loads of prep space. Solid surface countertops. I think I've already pointed that out, but check out the prep space you got. Just awesome. And I also like how they've done the, the backsplash all the way from the ground. Ground. Man, it's been a long day. So all the way from the, ca the countertop all the way to the cabinet. And once again, solid oak doors, drawers, and even the glass accent there. And it's tinted quite nicely. So a quick shot of your loft bed. So just loads of room. You've got three of the teddy bear style, I don't want you to call it a mattress or a cushion, but just loads of room. Even TV connections located right over here. I had to crawl up here today and just close all these blinds, but I do in fact have the air conditioners blasting right now because it's about 76 degrees here in Mississippi and just listen. You can't even hear them. Whisper quiet, two of them, 15K. You notice how the return vents are here and here. That way it sucks out more of that heat, keeping it nice and cool. So would you call that a third bedroom? Possibly, not really, but Coming to the back of the coach, you're looking at a queen size bed. So I am six foot two, and as you go through the door, I do not hit my head. It's kind of just steps down nicely here. You don't have to worry about dunking or anything. Dunking, dunking, oh my goodness, listen to Drew. So standard queen here, you could upgrade to a residential giving you just a little bit more leg room, but I don't think you're gonna need it. Does in fact still have the storage underneath the bottom there also. 
sliding door and just tons and tons of storage space here you got three drawers there and closet space here giving you a quick shot of that tv connections are there i wish they would have put like a, a rod in here so you can hang some clothes but they didn't do that and down the bottom you have two shoe garages even big enough for a good set good size set of boots back in the second bath this would be the guest bath or maybe it's the primary it's your choice two full baths porcelain foot flush toilet they did not carry over the poor uh the solid surface countertops you look at more of a press membrane in here but that's a plastic sink there nice size pantry mirror there two-piece shower so that's all plastic you know ceiling height i want to say it's around six foot four in the actual half bath here do have some nice shelves in there you know places to put all of your stuff we we'll come back through and so this is a good view of the the cutout where it shows you while referencing how you know it's, you don't have to dunk any so quite nice we're gonna go ahead and head up into the master give you a quick view of this so here in the master bedroom you once again listen can you hear the air I got the thermostat set maybe 65 just a slight hum it's it's not very loud at all it's actually just kind of perfect just to rock you to sleep but king size bed up in the master you do have the pull down shades i forgot to turn on the two led lights but they are in fact up there pass through bathroom with the sliding barn style door check this out nice little bench you could call it an ottoman i guess you know five set of chester drawer there as well and again, you got the slow rise shades in the master bedroom with that 80% tent there. Also additional storage in here. So maybe you would have put some blankets in there. That's super nice to have. Just loads and loads of room in the master bedroom closet. And there's the carpet I was referencing to earlier. Let me turn the light on there. Alliance is gonna come standard equipped with washer and dryer connection. So you could put a stackable in here. We do sell them here at Camper Kingdom if you do choose to add them. And storage underneath the king size bed as well. So in the master bathroom here, once again, you got the press membrane on the countertop. Still has a plastic sink. Oak, again, that's just your standard medicine cabinet there. And you can have a little bit of storage space here. Porcelain foot flush toilet. And this is what I like to call the shower test. So you got the seat that's provided, giving you just plenty of room. And again, I'm six foot two, just showing you how much room you got. And it's actually not bad in here. I like how they've added the different shelves so you can put maybe bar soap, a couple body, bottles of body wash and so forth. So all of your controls are in fact here in the main hallway of the unit. Two different awnings. One of them is right at 16 feet. The other one's 14 feet. Three different slide switches for your slide operations. These are hydraulic slides. So it's not like your rack and pinion or your cable driven slides. You do have to have a battery to hook up actually in place to operate these slides. And of course, all of your light switches there. It's getting dark outside, but I'm gonna attempt to go outside and show you guys some of the outside features. So let's take So here on the outside of the unit, you're looking at 43 feet in length a dry weight of 14,120 pounds again. Four different slides, all of those are in fact hydraulic. Two awnings. This one's gonna be 16 feet and that one's 14 feet and you can in fact see the LED lights that are on underneath it, quite nice. Frameless windows with 80% tint, 10 inch drop frame construction. That way you get the bigger bigger storage compartment on the back and you're going to get the bigger loft bed back there as well solid step on the entry step you got just a little bit larger platform here on the top making it easier to get in and out and i like how they've changed the grab handle this year that way when you're on higher elevations like it is now it's easy to grab that handle these steps are fully adjustable just with a quick change of a pin six point hydraulic leveling 
So six different landing points, but there I want to point out your spare tire. It's kind of in the bottom. I honestly wish they would have relocated that maybe to the storage compartment in the front. Fully walkable roof, 3-inch decking on the on the roof, 5-inch flooring tongue and groove. There's a rear ladder. Solid step on the entry step on the back. Look how tiny these little things are. How cool, cool is that? Those will in fact just flip right up and inside the coach. Blindside cameras, you could have about one, two, three, probably four different cameras on the coach all together. And your 50 amp power connections are located back here on the back. With it being a two bedroom, two bath, you're gonna have two different sewer connections. You're gonna have one here, and if you notice underneath the drop frame there, you have full handles there. I'll show you the other one. Other sewer connections just right in front of the tires here, and its pull can handles are gonna be located inside of the water management system. They have gone ahead and provided a nice little storage container for all of your sewer lines. And that's gonna be one of, another one of the blindside camera markers right there. 10 gallon gas and electric on the hot water heater. Quick shot of your water management system. So city water connection, you got your black tank flush. All of your satellite connections are done there. And your gray tank and black tank pull handles again up here. Just loads and loads of storage space because it has that 10 inch drop frame construction. So you're definitely gonna get loads of space there. Fully automatic leveling, just simple press of a button. Coach will level itself, but one thing that I really like about it, you have a line of sight of your kingpin, so you, you don't have to really break your neck because you're, look at the slide height there. Makes it that much easier to level the coach. Road armor on the kingpin on the front, so you got the little three inch bushing. That way it rotates going down the road, making it that much more of a smoother ride. Hitch weight, 2,740 pounds. So definitely check your, your towing capacity in the vehicle. Make sure you're not overloading your truck. Once again, guys, thank you to all the new subscribers. I greatly do appreciate it. Continue to like, subscribe, even leave me a couple comments. Come see me.